Well, we're here today for the uh, Arnhem to Wienendal, I believe, 200 kilometers. Um, I'm on Swanee duty today, but we have some uh, quality World Tour teams here, and I plan on showing up all the Swannies in the feed zone. I've been working on my technique, just a quick, like, shotgun style, like, automatic stuff. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about it, try to get out as many biddens as possible and set some records. So Marco, because you're sort of not in the race, you can probably be a little bit more truthful than normally, like, uh, who do you reckon has got a real chance on our team? Who's your team? Uh, well, no. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to say it out too loud, but uh, I'm actually thinking that Vanderplug boat blokes oh, up today. Yep, good. Yeah, up with a bunch sprint, but everyone else is terrible now they're not around, so it's all on you, mate. All on you. All right, a bit of pressure. <laughs> Let's see how we go. So, Steve, this is our second race in the Netherlands uh, since you've joined the team. Uh, what do you think? Love the Netherlands. The architecture, the people, the vibe, it's all really awesome. Love it. Very good. And we can see you've just, uh, you clearly had a bit of a, a haircut recently. Mm. Uh, what's your theory there? Aerodynamics obviously important when you're on the bike, but is off the bike, is that something to consider? Yeah, it is. And it's, you know, you've got to think about hygiene when you're in the car all day. And it's just, you know, I don't have to worry about my hair when I get out of the car. And... Oh, you don't have to wear a net, I guess, like in a restaurant. No, and, um... It just makes life easier, so, you know, I thought it's good enough for half a pillow, it's good enough for me. There you go. Tips from the DS. Shave your head. Thank you, Steve. So, Marge, we're just at the finish of the Arnhem Vendale. We'll just take this opportunity while you're topless to do a bit of a, uh, bit of a rundown of the race. How'd it go out there? Oh, you know, dude, it was a um, long day. <coughs> Really long day. Um, breakers four went up the road and then brought them back with about 20k to go. And then um, yeah, it was just a massive fight for the fight for the bunch sprint. Um, yeah, Neil gave or you gave me a real good um, last from like 30k to 15k and then yeah, very important part of the race there, not yeah. to be underestimated. Yeah, yeah. And then um, unfortunately, your legs blew out of it. <laughs> And then um, we ended up at the back and got caught behind a crash and had to do a lot of work to get back to the front. And I just came into the last K and the legs were stung. And um, yeah, I think Fraser got up there um, for maybe a top 20 place or something. But yeah. Oh, very good. And uh, more importantly, what's going on here on the arm? You got a bit of a tattoo here. Is this new? Uh, no, no, I had it for um, since the start of the year. But yeah. And who is it? Is it um, your girlfriend? Looks it. <laughs> Genghis. Oh, Genghis Khan. Yeah, it's my oh, boy. Just watch out for him. He's a dangerous fella. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, thanks much. No problem, mate. See you later.